Hi there everyone, my name is Preetam and I welcome you all to Engineering Preetam and in this Arduino beginner series. In this video, we will talk about sensors and actuator and then we will also learn how to use some of them. For example, LM35 temperature sensor to read ambient temperature and with the help of home, we're going to control an LED. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before I directly jump into and start building project using Arduino, let's talk about sensors and actuator so if we talk about the sensors sensors are the devices that detect event or change in environment and send information to processor they act as a senses of our project allowing this arduino to feel what is happening around it in our project as i said we're gonna use this small LM35 temperature sensor that I have already placed in this breadboard to monitor temperature changes. Now let's talk about actuator. The actuator are the devices that take action based on the command from the processor. They can control a mechanism or a system. In our project, this small LED will act as an actuator turning on when the temperature cross certain threshold. So now let's talk about the component that is required to create this setup. So I would say first of all you required an Arduino board. So here I'm gonna use this Uno variant of board and then uh, probably you can have the breadboard or some jumper wire to make connection and then um, I'm gonna use this resistor which will make sure that the LED is not drawing too much of current and apart from resistor we obviously need this LM35 temperature sensor and this LED going to act as an actuator now let's put them together to form connection okay so here you can see this Arduino board and then I did some of these assembly already so in this breadboard as we know that these are the common connection across this side. So I have actually fixed this LM35 temperature sensor in these three rows. And then these three rows are connected with this jumper wire. Okay, so this is completed. And then if I talk about this LED, this is our anode side, um, which you can easily find as this leg of the LED will be slightly longer than this cathode one and in anode I have connected this resistor so here you can again see I have connected this jumper wire in the end of this resistor which is basically a node and then this one is cathode so in this way I have created these connections so this is our output or actuator and this is our input or we can say it as a sensor and not only we're going to actuate this LED using this sensor but we will also try to see the result or the value of the temperature in our serial plotter okay so now we have made these basic connection time now came to connect these to this Arduino board but before that let me also talk a little bit more about this LM35 temperature sensor so if you see it have got these three legs so how are you going to recognize which one is VCC which one is output and which one is ground so when we look at this LM35 temperature sensor from the flat side so the left pin this one uh, on the left is a VCC and the middle one is actually output uh, which sends signal and the right side is your ground connection so make sure that whenever we connect this sensor we are making correct connection so if I talk about if we see from this side which is from a rounded size then the left pin will be your ground the middle pin again will be output and the right pin will be your power supply or VCC. Now let's make connection here. So what I'm going to do here is as we know the right pin um, when we see from the flat side I'm going to connect it to the ground and here if we see here we can see is the ground connection. So I'm going to connect it with ground okay or probably I can connect it from this side. So let's connect this to the ground. Okay, so the right one is connected to the ground and the middle one is output. Um, and then since this 
sensor is an analog sensor so i'm gonna connect this to a0 where i will uh, take input okay so we are using this sensor to collect input so i will receive input on a0 okay and ground i already have connected now i'm gonna connect it to 5 volt power supply so here i can see uh, is 5 volt so i'm gonna connect it to the 5 volt so in this way guys uh, we have connected this sensor to this arduino board now comes the led okay so when we talk about this led we're going to take output on it so what i'm going to do here is this one is positive i'm going to connect this positive terminal to the digital pin 9 so i need to remember it right when i will code I will utilize this digital pin 9 as output and then if I talk about the short leg or this cathode I'm gonna connect it to the ground so um, here I can see it actually this is the ground um, here we can see it so now this is one two three four so this one is the fourth and that's how we have completed our connection now the next thing here i'm gonna do is i'm gonna connect my arduino board to my computer okay so let me connect this board with this cable to computer and there we go now let me jump into my computer screen to start coding so uh, let me actually press menu button and type here arduino and there we go and now here yeah, you can see i already have created this code so let's understand what does this code say so here yeah, you can see i am initializing this lm35 pin here which is a0 and and you might remember that we are actually giving output to a0 pin when we have created connection of sensor and then here you can see we are defining this led pin 9 as output so here basically we are defining this analog pin as input and then this digital pin as output and now here we are defining our threshold uh, value that whenever our lm35 detects the temperature value is 25 then something will happen okay and then here you can see what we have done is instead of sensor taking one value and reflecting it back we have actually taken an average value so that the temperature sensor become less volatile gives us an average output now we are saying wide setup and then we are defining led pin as output and then um, here we are also initializing serial communication and then now here you can see this is how basically we are collecting value from sensor and then here you can see we have utilized loop such that the sensor keep on sending us value and then here you can see we also have defined a delay of 50 millisecond and then here you can see we are basically getting output of average temperature because we would like to stabilize the value or the output coming from our lm35 sensor now if we go down here we also have put a delay of 1000 millisecond or one second which will kind of wait for one second before you know there is any change in the value and one more thing here you can see that um here we are basically defining when the led need to turn on and when led need to turn off so here we can see we are saying that the average temperature which we are basically getting input from our lm35 is greater than temperature threshold of which we have defined it here it will turn on our led okay so now after making all this code uh, which i'm gonna provide you in the description of this video um what we need to do here is we need to go to tools and then here you need to select your port and then from board you need to select your board so here you can see i already have selected arduino uno and then um we also have selected port all you need to do is you need to upload this code to your arduino board so let's click here on upload and there we go here we can see it says done compiling now we have successfully added this code here so here we can see the led started glowing up seems like the temperature here is more than 25 degree which we can verify or validate if i go here uh, in tools and see this serial monitor so it should show us the value okay so let me again go here and go to serial monitor and there we go 
it seems like the temperature here is very high that should not be the case actually the value that we are getting is too much so let me actually have a look on the code here because 176 is too hot so let me actually have a look here um here i think we have initialized variables in a proper way and we have defined this uh, temp threshold and then um, we also have defined these averaging um, pin mode output then a serial begin is also good then a loop here also is good then analog value voltage and temperature total temperature and then delay then um, here we have defined float every temperature which I think we are doing correctly seems like the code is perfectly fine so let me actually select the code again and um, let me save it and let's again try uploading it now actually it could be the temperature of this particular electronic part so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna turn on ac and i'm gonna see if the values goes down or not okay so now we are getting correct value so seems like there was some issue with wiring which i fixed it and now let me actually show you the setup so here you can see the LED is not glowing because uh, if you see the temperature here is below threshold value which is 25 and if I go here above and change this value from 25 to 20 and then upload this code then here you will see the LED should start glowing up and we can see it. So let's try to keep it at 24 because we can see the value of the temperature is varying from 24 to 23. So let's make it 24. And now again, I would like to upload it and there we go. So right now I have turned on the AC. So that's why you can see the value is coming around 23 degree. And if I turn it off now, I think uh, after a certain time, the temperature will rise and you will see the LED will start glowing up. And there we go. You can see. So this was a kind of proof of concept. You can apply the same methodology in solving problems. Congratulations, you have successfully built a temperature control LED system using LM35 sensor and Arduino. This project shows how to use sensor and actuator together to interact with environment. Thank you for watching and if you really enjoyed this tutorial, I would suggest you to please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Engineering Pritam to follow more such Arduino related project and engineering topics. Till then, you take care and bye bye.